Right, welcome back. We're back live. We are now probably just under two hours away from race start for round four of the Gas Shocks 116 Trophy. And we thought now would be a good time to catch up with this man, Derek Gardner, Hello. the series organiser. Derek, first of all, yeah. how has the weekend been going? Actually, remarkably well. Um, we've, uh, we are pleased as punch because... Whilst you know, it's the summer holidays where the numbers are down a little bit, but we've got the cars out and the whole grid is only two seconds apart. But all the cars fit in to within a two second time scale. So that shows that the cars are equal and it's just down to driver ability that gets you, uh, you know, wins you the race. And that's what something we always wanted to do. We wanted to, we said that the anybody could build a car and go out and win a race so let's talk about the cars a little bit why did you choose a bmw 116 the n45 um, 116 is uh, an easy car to police it's restricted on power there's not a lot you can do to it to uh, increase it it's easy for us to keep hold of it and, and see what's going on and we do bits We've provided parts that stop us from uh, stop people from interfering and doing things. You know, we run a cat in the tailpipe where we can see it physically that it's got a cat fitted and things like that. Uh, so we we're keeping tight controls, but fair fair controls. Uh, and I think that those, uh, you know, if we can keep doing that and keep on top of it, we will. We were, you know, what I'd like to see is all the cars staying within that two seconds because I think that's that just shows what can be done I've heard the Bands Hatch Indy circuit that's going to make for some pretty tight racing we're going to get a clean race today yeah yeah this is this is uh, this is not the dodgems and the uh, uh, we, that's what we like to hear <laughs> this is it uh, the driving standards are enforced rigidly by the clerk of the course and the, and the cars are of a good standard uh, and uh, the tyre manufacturer has come up with a package that works on this car and they, they are pretty safe. It all, as I say, it all comes down to driver ability. Well, we've spent the day around the pit lane, in the paddock, yeah. you know, pottering about. All the drivers have been very friendly. There's been yeah. a great atmosphere. That one of the good things about this series? That is the most important thing. We always said we wanted a friendly paddock Yes, it'll always be the little niggles. Is he doing something he shouldn't be doing? La, la, la. I'm sorry, that's racing uh, because uh, that's the way it is. But in general, it's a friendly paddock. When somebody hits a problem, everybody mucks in and helps. And, uh, and that's the way we, you know, you know, we want to do this more. You know, we want uh, paddocks, barbecues, bands in the paddock and things like that. Uh, we'd like to see that sort of, the, the, the future for, uh, for our series. And so do we, because that is the, the beauty of certainly British motorsport. At this level, it's in very good health, isn't it? Well, I think it is. It's, it's more so. Uh, obviously, there's a lot of series fire up and there are, and some sadly don't make it but if they all succeeded there'd be no track time <laughs> so you know we're in lost Rockingham now uh, so that's a you know that's a, a, a gap that, that can't be filled really um, so I you know I th I've, you know you're hearing stories about the MSA tightening up on the amount of cars in a series um, to, to because there's just too many series so but it, but there's plenty. There's plenty of there's plenty of uh, series coming up with a something unique, something a bit different, and uh, a rear-wheel drive endurance car. We think we got the package right. So let's have a look at a car. Then. So yeah. for people who want to get involved in uh, this type of motorsport, how do you get one, hold of one of these? Right. Well, uh, marketplace. <laughs> oh, and easy. <laughs> yeah, easy. So it's a standard. It's a standard BMW one one. Standard. 116 and you can use the um, the ES model which has got no aircon uh, the SE the Sport uh, models uh, the only difference with a Sport is it has a rear anti-roll bar which we ask to be removed so all the cars are the same <coughs> you can remove the air conditioning and you can put a free flow air cleaner in it that's it that's, that is it. So literally, you could buy one of these on, say, Facebook Marketplace or Autotrade or wherever. And Starting at 300 quid. 
unbelievable. unbelievable. I mean, obviously, you buy a cheaper one, you're going to have to do timing chain and bits and pieces and do some refreshing. And sometimes that can be a bit dearer than buying a, a lower mileage, good example, well-service example anyway. Um, I mean, here's an example. Um, this, this car came in about £900, but it's a very, very last... Uh, five speeds, so it's a 2006 and it's done 110,000 miles and it's as sweet as a nut. And this one, the one we're actually looking at now, is its first run out in the series, yep. isn't it? Never so. turned the wheel on track. Up, up. Until qualifying. <laughs> well, it, did a, it, did a, it did, it had a couple of sessions yesterday in the damp, but uh, so obviously we need to have the basic parts on you know we need the fire extinguishers um gas shocks have very kindly come up with a really good package for us uh for the dampers and suspension systems with sliding top mounts so we can get some adjustability into the car but other than that it's just the legal requirements uh for standard brakes MSA. standard brakes standard uh, discs um, and uh, obviously we've run a race type pad um, we're testing several at the moment it's, the pads are free but um, Mintex and uh, Ferodo make pads for these and it's perfectly suitable for racing and then when we um, go further into oh yeah we'll come around <laughs> obviously the strip out is yeah. minimalistic, should we say? <laughs> All we do is cut part of the dash away to put a roll cage in. Yeah. Yeah, we're getting a real closer look now. That's good. We we insist that the dash, apart from those gaps, be standard. Yeah. Glove glove box door is. Uh, oh, well, it's screwed in, but uh, the glove box you can remove, but the actual, the, the look of it, so really it's just remove the radio, uh, uh, put a racing steer wheel on it, a seat, strip the, strip the floor out, we even leave the centre console in. So you mean we can't listen to a bit of Madonna as we're going around, is that, is that what you're saying? Exactly. <laughs> but Ab, a bit of Abba, uh, uh, put, uh, but, um, so it, the whole idea is, in, in the old days they used to have, right, they're called the Group N, yeah. Um, cars where basically it was absolutely minimal uh, uh, you know ref no the racing side of it obviously you have to do some things you know yeah. roof liner and stuff like that no you know you, that, that makes obviously sense from a fire point of view yeah absolutely but, but it's we're talking light modification Obviously, you have to cage and bits and pieces. And, and but there's packages available with the yes. Wall Six trophies. Uh, we've negotiated deals, and most of the stuff you buy direct from the manufacturers. Um, and so, you know, we're not. This is not our uh, high profit margin uh, series. <laughs> we we do the deals. You buy the shocks direct from Gaz, and they have a One One Six trophy package. The tyres come direct from Nankang, and the tyres are only two hundred and sixty pound a whole set. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it's, they've done us a very good deal. Um, but even some of the other smaller manufacturers like Hell, who, who make um, braided brake hoses, have done us uh, packages. Um, so there's lots of good um, products at the right prices, which help keep the overall cost of the build down. Yeah. Um, and inside, we, you know, keeping the door cards, we can take them off because they are a bit bulky. And we... Uh, and we and we get them from um, uh, race door cards, yeah. uh, but they've done us a package. Uh, even the electric windows have to work in the front. Oh really? Oh, oh yeah. In the back, you can take, remove the you can remove all the electrics uh, and. Um, so they're essentially road going cars. Is that, is that would that be fair to say? Or? I can tell you absolutely. This is an MOT'd taxed and insured car I can drive so I could take this home on the M25 tonight yeah can I 
Yes, you can. <laughs> yeah. yeah. She's yeah. going to give me the keys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's what we, we call this run what you brung. Yeah. Uh, and that's whereby you can, you can get an MOT for a modified car yeah. and, and drive it on the road. Obviously, you might have to declare it to your insurance company. Yes. But, um, <laughs> but and in the back, we, you, know, you can take all the, ele- the window winders or electric windows out, the tailgate you can strip out. But other than that, when you come around to the back, you see... Okay. You're all right there, we've got enough. Yeah, where, where the BMW badge is, and uh, we just run a rain light and catches. Um, but we still leave the uh, the dampers in for open, uh, for holding the boot up because it makes it life easier. Yeah. And there's the exhaust with the 100 cell racing cat. Ah, uh, yes, yeah. So we know that this car's running with a cat, yeah, and it's legal because obviously that's an MSA requirement over yeah. after a certain years. I forget what year it was now. Well, they have to go through noise as well, no? noise yes, regulations that go through these. Well, we've, well, we've future proofed a car on the noise front um, by sticking to 95 decibels. Uh, we, we, we took a, um, advice from the 750 Motor Club as to what would future-proof our car yeah. for any track, and they said 95 decibels, and we've stuck to that. Clarius um, came up and uh, took, went it off and built it, did some testing on it, and came back and said, we're happy with that. Um, it's in between 94 and 95 decibels. So, I mean, we never had, obviously, we never had any problems, so you can go to Bedford Aerodrome and, or anywhere and not get into trouble. Perfect. Now, look, we are getting close to it. They are running a bit ahead of schedule today, aren't they? I think about 20 minutes or so ahead. So right. I think we're going to be out on track a little bit early. You've probably got a lot to do. But before I let you go, yes. if I'm interested in getting involved in this series, who do I contact? Where do I go? Right. Info at 116trophy.com. Uh, you can put through an inquiry on the website, which is 116trophy.com. Um, or you can phone me. But the best thing to do is just drop me an email uh, or through Facebook on the, uh, on the messages. Where you are right now watching this. And we, and we will be straight back to you. We normally get back to everybody within a couple of hours. Perfect. Excellent. Derek, thank you so much. Best of luck. And we'll see you probably after the race. I'm fine. Thanks thank so you. Cheers. Indeed.